and welcome to today's vlog, which is actually going to be part two to giving the boys a toddler room redo slash makeover. I don't know why I'm so scared to do this. Before we jump into the room tour for the boys' room, I quickly wanted to show you guys my new phone case that I have on my phone. I am obsessed with how all the decorations and everything turned out. To quickly give you guys an update on how sleep has been going with the toddler beds. Good morning guys and welcome to today's vlog which is actually going to be part two to giving the boys a toddler room redo slash makeover. If you guys saw my last video, I went ahead and started transitioning the boys room into a bit of a more mature toddler big boy room rather than what their bedroom slash nursery has been looking like for the last three years now. Obviously the main thing being transitioning their cribs into toddler beds, but I also started doing a few other small decorative things. This I shared in that vlog this up here i did not i'll actually go ahead and show you guys what i did up there in a little bit but in that video we hit a bit of a hiccup when i went to go hang up the last few things on the boys wall over here since these things this acrylic eyeglass holder that we're actually using as a toy car holder and these two acrylic shelves these called for a power drill which harris and i did not own so yesterday he went over to his parents house he was able to secure a power drill and so today i'm sitting down and doing these last few things in the boys room Please excuse today's lighting. Um, it'll probably be a mix of natural lighting, which is not even the best since it is super gray and gloomy out today. Yesterday it was gorgeous. It was 53 degrees out and the boys and I spent most of the day outside playing. When I brought them home from school yesterday, we played outside for some time. And then when they woke up from their nap, we also played outside for some time. But then we woke up this morning and it was super gray, super cold, and actually flurrying, snowing. So the lighting is not the best. Even if I went ahead and turned on their little lamp that's over here on their dresser, that does not help at all and actually makes the video pretty yellow. So if the lighting in today's video is off, it's because it's a mixture of super gray natural lighting and table lighting. So I hope you guys don't mind that. But I do want to jump in and start doing what I want to get done in the boys' room today. It is just about 10 o'clock. The boys are obviously at school. Today is now Tuesday. And the last things that I do have to do are hang these few things on this wall over here. And then I figured I would sit and run through everything in the boys' room and give you guys kind of an updated toddler room tour. As you can see, I did hang up a few more things up here. These are some decorative skateboards that were actually in the spare playroom that we have over there. We decided to bring those in here and put them on the wall back here to kind of take up some space in that corner. It was looking super bland. So after I go ahead and finish hanging this stuff up and put like books on the bookshelves and cars in the car holder, I figured I would sit and share with you guys one more time where everything is from in the boys room. Obviously their furniture I haven't really shared since their nursery tour back in the day, their carpet, their bedding, all the stuff that's been in here for a super long time. I'll run through with you guys again and then also just show you guys the final layout and what the room is looking like so far. I also want to give you guys an update later on in the video of how transitioning from a crib to a toddler bed is going for the boys and what we've kind of been doing for them to have them sleep. They've slept in it twice now at nighttime and once for naps. So I'll give you guys an update on that later on in the video. But I do want to jump into hanging this stuff on the wall. I'm a little bit nervous. My friend Ashley's dad made it seem much more daunting than it is and was like, be careful that you don't drill into any wires. But I had no trouble drilling in over there and even hammering some nails into the wall over there. I think I'm more than capable of using this power drill to hang this stuff up. So that is going to be our first to do of the day. And then we'll jump into everything else. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys kind of what my game plan is for this stuff. So this acrylic eyeglass holder that we're using as like a dupe for the Pottery Barn car holder, I'm planning on putting like about here I think would be good and then having the two acrylic shelves have one like down here and then another one a little bit higher up over here I think that's what my game plan is going to be I need to get a pencil and mark out where the holes are I also probably need to take my phone down for a minute and make sure everything's level and then I'll actually start screwing into the wall I don't know why screwing into the wall seems like I'm just drying the wall. I only really get like one time to do this because I can't have multiple holes showing through the back of this acrylic. So I'm going to take my time, mark up the wall, make sure everything's level, and then screw it in. Okay, I don't know if you can tell, but the first one is marked. This one, I'm going to get this on the wall first so I can use it as a reference point for the shelves. I have the little anchors here and the screws, and I think all I have to do is screw the anchors in. So. 
wish me luck if this goes well i know i'll be able to do the other ones super easy i'm so scared i don't know why i don't know why i'm so scared to do this okay it says screw into the wall screw the anchor in screw the item in seems 95 percent foolproof i would be the one to mess this up Maybe I should test it. Okay. One. I'm like shaking, guys. I'm literally shaking. Two. Okay. Now I think I need my actual screwdriver. Hold on. All right. Got this on. Nice and secure super easy thank you for being there and holding my hand while i did that i'm now going to mark out and level the shelves and then get those up i think i'm gonna do low than high so that it like fills up the space a little bit more but this is looking so good Everything is hung on the wall and it looks so good. So I'm going to go grab a bunch of the boys' cars to throw in here since I really like playing with cars, especially taking like two matchbox cars to bed. It's like their favorite thing to do. So now that they will they can have them in their own room, I don't have to worry about having to come in and out multiple times a night to give them different cars. And then for here, I'm going to pick like two or three books to sit on here. Um, ben has like a few favorites that he likes to flip through and it's just more things for them to do if they don't want to go down for their nap that day. They could sit in here and play. They have all their stuffed animals in here as well. Or if they wake up in the morning, instead of me having to come in right away, they can kind of entertain themselves while I get myself ready before I come in. I also need to quickly vacuum up all that dust on the floor and clean this up. So I'm super excited to do like the grand reveal after this. Once I get this done, I'll then go ahead and do like a full room tour for you guys. <music> jump into the room tour for the boys room i quickly wanted to show you guys my new phone case that i have on my phone if you guys have seen any of my vlogs i vlog with my phone and normally i have either a boring tan case on my phone or the one before this was a plain black sparkly one but i've been seeing these wally cases all over instagram and i got one in for myself and i picked a super fun pattern i decided to go with something a little bit different than i normally do i believe this was one of their ones it was like a special collab with someone but it's like this eggshell cream but it has a super fun pink and red like warm checker this really cute smiley face here i love these cases because it has not only a spot for money and cards right here and a spot for your fingers so that you can hold your phone but this little finger strap actually slides up i don't know if you guys will be able to see probably not but there's little grooves underneath here that this can like click into and you can actually lean it on a table as like a little tripod it is so cool and so cute and so comfortable to hold it's very soft i've been having a lot of fun normally i don't have something on the back of my phone to be able to hold it but i've been having a lot of fun with it since i put it on my phone a few days ago and i do have an active coupon code with wally i believe it's for 10 percent off i will put it on the screen here as well as down in the description box but they have a bunch of different colors and styles both for 
men and women neutrals pinks super fun ones i think they have like some flowers some more different checkered ones and they do offer a wide range of phones for their phone cases to fit on i have an iphone 12 pro i believe but i wanted to show you guys this because i think it looks super cute and you're gonna be seeing it a lot in my videos since i vlog with my phone but let's jump into the room tour of the boys room because i'm officially obsessed with their room Okay, so here's a little once over. Obviously, before we did all this stuff to the boys' room, we kept their room super plain and bland. I mean, I believe it was like a little bit decorated for a nursery, but definitely nothing crazy. It was definitely time for them to have an upgrade and to have some decorations in their room now that it is safe for them to do so. Obviously, when they're infants and super small, I don't want things hanging on their walls that they could touch or fall on them. But now that we are out of that like little danger zone and it's more safe for them to have more stuff in their room now that they're three. I am obsessed with how all the decorations and everything turned out. My vision definitely came to life. So here is the door to the boys room. The boys room is actually pretty small. I believe it's a 10 by 10 room or like a 10 and a half by a 10 and a half room. It's a perfect square, I think. Um, actually, no, I think this one is a 10 by 12 and the other room is a 10 by 10. The like makeshift extra playroom we have i don't know whatever the dimensions are the room is not that big especially for two kids to be sleeping in harris was concerned he was like do we get them like actual twin size beds or do we use these toddler beds and i said let's just use the toddler beds we have the pieces for it and then if we want to get them twin like bigger beds at some point we can i just think it would be a little too crammed in here with like a full sized bed and I think the taller beds fit perfect in here the boys love their beds they always have loved their beds so I just thought easy transition we already have the pieces let's keep it as toddler beds in their room but anyway front door over here this dresser we've had in the room since the boys were born this as well as their cribs that are obviously a three-in-one these are by baby leto and they're the lolly crib and lolly dresser um they have the navy with the tan um doorknobs to match the navy and tan crib i believe they have white and tan gray and tan and black and tan or white and black there's a few different color combinations obviously we went with the navy and the tan for the boys room um, and these we got at pottery barn kids i believe before the boys were born we had these um shipped to us so that we got together their bedding, first of all, their mattresses. Ben's is the Baby Leto mattress. Jax is the Baby Ello mattress that I just shared a review on in my last video. That is linked in my Amazon storefront as well. Um, their sheets are Pottery Barn Kids as well. And then these duvets and duvet covers, as well as the pillowcases are um, Pottery Barn Kids as well. The pillow is also Pottery Barn Kids. Toddler pillow, toddler duvet, and then a toddler duvet cover set um, in the Navy as well. Um, these, I don't know where we got these from. These we got from a family member. Um, ben says Ben Reed. Jack says Jack Ford because those are their full names. And then we have a bunch of miscellaneous stuff in their cribs. Their kikis, their blankets that they carry around all the time. These are by Little Giraffe and the boys absolutely love them. Their cousins have them as well and I highly recommend them as an infant baby blanket. They've had those since they were born. Um, and then a bunch of this stuff. Like I think these are jelly cats. I'm not too sure where these are from. These elephants are jelly cats. A lot of their stuffed animals are jelly cat stuffed animals these blankets here are actually swaddles from when they were little that they found in this bottom drawer here when i used to have stuff in the bottom and now they want them in their bed as well i'm not too sure where those are from baby monitors are the nanit 10,000 out of 10 recommend the Nanit as a baby monitor. It is a little bit pricey, but for me, I think it's worth it, especially when they were super little. I used to pay for the Nanit Insights and it would record your baby at night, tell you when they woke up, how long they woke up. Um, I still get notifications of sound and motion. I just can't go back and watch because I are like Nanit um, Insight subscription laps and I never wound up getting another one. And I don't really think we need it right now. Definitely when they were super little, I wanted to know when they woke up and what they were doing in the middle of the night when they woke up. So we paid for it then, but we don't have them anymore. But I still would 10,000 out of 10 recommend this baby monitor. This acrylic towel holder. This is Pottery Barn Kids as well. And then these towels. I think these are Pottery Barn Kids. And these are Burt's Bees. We have four different Burt's Bees ones back here. Oh, their rug. This is also Pottery Barn Kids. Whatever I can find that is still available on these websites, I will link down below if you guys are in the market for some toddler room decor or just 
decor in general obviously this carpet you can use for things other than a toddler's room but again the cream and the navy i love the color scheme we went for here with cream and navy because we can find so many things that match so this we got when we got our cribs again pottery barn kids jack has that same jack ford blanket and all his miscellaneous things again are from like jelly cat or random places little giraffe pottery barn kids bedding these i believe harris's mom commissioned someone to personally make this bed and jack skateboard so this is not a part of this these three are from an artist again that harris's mom follows on instagram and was able to get from him i i believe these are prints of his original work on skateboards but these three actually used to be in the um spare playroom over there this one is a little too far away. I think I'm gonna actually take the nail out of the wall and scooch it over a little bit, but Harris and I went ahead and did this last night just to fill up this space over here and give some color to this wall. We used to have a lamp here if you guys are familiar, but we took that out and I kind of scooched Jack's bed over to close this so that they can't really get back here. So those are hung up. Again, Nanit, moving over here. Blackout blinds, Amazon, I think. Um, Ready Shade is the brand. You can get them on Amazon, Lowe's, um, Home Depot, Bed Bath & Beyond, baby. Highly recommend these for a cheap, renter-friendly blackout blind. They just adhesive onto the top of your window, and you can cut them to fit. Ours is like the longer side. I think this is 42 inches, but you can get a 36 inch as well. Love those. Um, over here, this bin I shared in my last video. That is Target. This one here is Pottery Barn Kids. Again, with miscellaneous stuffed animals in here. I think all of these are from Jelly Cat that are in here. We love Jelly Cat stuffed animals, if you can't tell. And then the shelves that I just put up, Amazon. This eyeglass holder is a dupe for a pottery barn car holder amazon as well and then all the books are just miscellaneous books that i chose i chose a brown bear book because that's like ben's favorite um two of our twins books we have this one is playtime for twins we have bath time right yeah bath time for twins these a to yeezy r is for rolex and l is for lebron that's a mouthful Harris's mom picked up for the boys way back when, when we were like establishing their little library. I have a pow pow fish back there because I recently have started reading that in school again when they were learning about emotions, but I used to always read that one to them when they were first born. So that's a favorite. We have a chicka chicka boom boom and then another random trucks. These ones I'll just like rotate out as time goes, but that's what I chose for now. I have an outlook cover from Amazon. Everything from Amazon will be linked in my storefront down below. I feel like I'm running through this really quick because this video is getting pretty lengthy as it stands um laundry basket pottery barn kids obviously dirty laundry in there <laughs> moving over here um target lamp that i just showed hatch baby rest which i 10,000 10,000 10,000 percent recommend um i love the sound machine and ours is the one with the lights you can get the sound machine just as it is it's, i think it's like the rest mini without the um light on top but i like having the one for the light for the boys and then over here we have some collectors gold spine books these we got um i believe at my baby shower um someone gifted this set to me both sets so i have them here as um decoration i just got a message on my phone from the voice teacher um lotion that's just normal you know lotion and then this mirror here i think is also pottery barn kids if i'm not mistaken so that is everything for the boys room i am loving how it turned out i'm gonna go chug some coffee and take a breather for a minute and then i'll give you guys a quick update on how it's going actually transitioning the boys from cribs to toddler beds what do you got toys what else some books you got crazy hat hair look see you can put your cars in here so you can have cars in your room Sparkly. Your sparkly cars in mommy's room, silly. Uh, uh, you got your good car for me. Yeah, and a bookshelf and some books. Yeah, cool. Bing. What, baby? Oh, <laughs> okay, so the boys are clearly home from school. I just went ahead and showed them yeah. the little car holder and the bookshelves in their room. And they seem to really like it. I am really happy with how everything turned out in their room. I am so obsessed with it. But I wanted to sit down before I put them down for their nap to quickly give you guys an update on how sleep has been going with the toddler beds. So 
In my last video where we transitioned their crib to the toddler bed, I talked about how I attempted to put them down for a nap and it really did not go well. Um, they did not settle at all. I think they were just too excited with everything that was going on. But yesterday, whoa, watch your book, silly. Yesterday, when I put them down for their nap, they settled so fast. I always put them down for a nap around one o'clock on school days. And normally when they had their cribs, they wouldn't settle until two o'clock sometimes even after two o'clock but yesterday they settled at like 120 so super fast and super easy they settled and both fell asleep and for bedtime the first night i think they were just so tired because they didn't nap during the day that they knocked out right away and slept perfectly fine in their beds and last night even though it did take them about an hour to settle which is normal for them when they had their cribs they did settle in about an hour and fell asleep and slept through the night. Jack actually slipped out of his bed a little bit um, around 10 o'clock. He rolled over and his leg came out of his bed and so he slipped out a little bit. I had to come in here and readjust him. But other than that, they've been sleeping really great in their beds and staying in their beds. Even in the morning when they wake up early, they don't really roam their room too much. They kind of just sit in their beds and play with what they have. The one thing that I have noticed that is different is that they want a nightlight now. I think just so that they can see what's going on in their room. So I have been using their Hatch Sound Machine as a nightlight as well. They both decided on the color red, and so I have it on pretty dim, but enough to where they can see what's going on in the room. I think that's why they wanted a nightlight. Um, because when I put them in for their nap the first day and it was pitch black in here, I don't think they like that. So we have been using their hatch as a nightlight as well as the sound machine. I still use it as a sound machine. Um, so that is a little update for you guys. It's only been two days. Today's the third day that they're having their color beds. But so far, I would say it's going really, really well. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing their room transformation from more of a nursery slash baby room to a big boy slash toddler room. I will have everything that I can possibly link down below, linked down below either as standalone links or in my Amazon storefront. And with that being said, we will see you guys in our next video. Bye guys.